Hello everyone, welcome to Archer's Blades Griftlands. This is something we are playing on stream. Remember, I'm not very good at this, um, so I'm hoping that you'll forgive me as I make many mistakes throughout. I'm saying that up front because I know that there's going to be people biting their nails and tearing their hair out. All these things that I'm doing, I'm trying to learn, okay? I I'm not very good at deck builders. I've been learning off of other YouTubers playing it, but the best way to learn is by doing. So if you have anything to say, I am all ears. By all means, uh, bring it on, but try and be civil. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm up for learning. If you've got strategies, if you see any complete misplays that I've done, let me know in the comments and I will try and pick up on them and, and incorporate them into my future gameplay. But um, on the stream, we are playing as Sal. We have a Sal game going on, but the first thing you do, one of the first things you do is you unlock this second character. Rook and I have never played any of this character at all. So keep up and we'll see... Uh, what we've got, I know many of you probably haven't seen this game before, uh, so I will try and sort of explain it as we go along. I'm not going to go on a big spiel now how it works. We'll, we'll see how it works. Um, it's your regular deck builder with a bit of a twist, a bit of a, um, you know, uh, it's got its own gimmick, shall we say. Not to use that in a bad way. Uh, the bog job, Rook arrives in the company town on the brink of revolt to work a mysterious contract. What's this? Right, so when you play this game, you have a negotiation deck and you have a battle deck. Um, I, I don't know what these are yet. Complete all main stories from Lumpy Tatus. So um, the, there's two types of fight. There's a, a talking fight and a fight fight. Really, it's just probably they had a lot of ideas for different cards and they wanted to you know, get them out of their brains and into a game. So there's one set of cards for negotiating with people and one set of cards for fighting people. Otherwise, it's a standard deck builder. Things do damage. There are synergies. There are zero cost cards. You have three energy points to play on your turn and you can ball out of control if you get things to work off of each other and stuff like that. Um, you start with this negotiation deck and get the chance to upgrade, add and remove cards through your run. So this is what we're starting with. Let's have a quick look at them. Gamble and Sticky. So. I'm surprised there's no tooltip for these, actually. I'm not understanding what Gamble does. This costs zero to play, however. And Sticky, I believe, means if you don't play it, you get it in your next hand of cards. It is... Oh, well, you can do this. There we go. Gamble. Flip your lucky coin. And this card is not discarded. What is my lucky coin? We'll find out. Improvise um, simply means that there are a set of cards that you can get another card out of. So when you play this card, you get another card which is usually zero cost, these are all zero cost. Here's the pool that you can pick from, uh, and you know, you can... It costs you one, but then you get a zero cost card. But you gamble against what you're going to get. All of these are to convince your opponent that you are worthy of listening to and beat down their argument and, and beat them with your... This is simply stabbing people. We have improvise, defense, 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 attack, attack, attack. To charge and to defense, this is new. Rook can store charge in his empty cells. Charge can be used by certain cards for additional effect. That's basically combo, I guess, from the other. Sal has combo. Uh, Rook has charge. Spend one charge, build, deal two bonus damage. That makes perfect sense. I will have another look at this, see if there's anything special with this. Heads and snails. Heads and snails are the two sides of your lucky coin. So if you, I, I'm guessing if you use gamble to flip your coin and you get heads, then you get max damage for this. That seems pretty cool. So half the time you could, you know, get a benefit from some of your cards just by playing those zero cost cards, which you will very likely have because if you didn't play them, you get to keep it. Let's start. This is a completely different thing. We out. Captain Rook, the veteran. The untrustworthy cad. These days you freelance, and you're on your way to a job in Grout Bog, where the Spark Barons plumb the ruins looking for forgotten treasures. The bugbear are hard to spot, but they bleed you dry if you let them. Seems like you're fitting just fine. I'm just adjusting the volume on the fly. I hope you could hear that, but I'm not entirely sure how loud it is for you. <laughs> Um, so I'm going to turn it up a bit, because I feel like it's not very loud at all. Um, it's very hard to balance the audio of a game, because you can't 
actually see how it's, it says it's minus 35 decibels so it seems extremely quiet so i apologize if this is too quiet um, but i've already done my talking so i'm not gonna start again <laughs> i should have tested up front never mind the land around Groutbog squelches with mud hungry for legs as well as boots the only road leads to a gate flanked by armed security <laughs> a spark baron guard steps out into the path as you approach spark barons the technocratic faction who retrofit new technology from ancient ruins much to the cult's displeasure the cult is a different thing. Stop right there! Before we go any further, the box is closed. Especially to grifters like you. We're a grifter. Any factionless settler. Yeah, unless you pay the uh, processing fee. Then maybe I could see to considering your petition for entry. We can pay him. 20 shells. My voice, I apologise. We can pay him. Well, that's a significant portion of our wages. Or we can do a, a negotiation. We have 36 resolve. We're more resolute than sell, which is great. And this person has no resolve whatsoever. So let's have a look at how negotiation works. It's probably the easiest way of explaining this is to just play it. Forgive me for being skeptical of this fee. In fact, I'd like to speak to your supervisor. So, negotiation tutorial. We will not see it. It's not my first negotiation. This ain't my first Rodeo. Right. Let's have a look at what these people have got. We have, this is our core argument. If this runs out of energy, we die. We don't die. We lose the argument. If this person runs out of energy, they lose the argument. Our core argument is if your core argument's resolve reaches zero, you lose, as we said, whenever this coin is flipped, apply one composer to it. So apply one composer to a random argument or deal one damage to a random enemy argument. So this is the coin that we learned about just a couple of minutes ago. This presumably flips it. Whichever it lands on, we gain the thing that it says, plus we get the benefit because currently it's on heads so these are doing max damage which is splendid this person at start of Frash's turn steal one card from Rook and hold it hostage I've seen this before it usually ends up here so we can attack it and get it back he's also going to do four damage um, to one of quote unquote one of our arguments it's going to be this one so he's going to receive four damage we have one composure composure is the mental form of armor um, and let's just play so we have three actions, and this costs three actions. We could apply two composure to try and reduce the amount of damage that we take, but I think, honestly, we just wail away at this guy while we can. We're going to keep this, remember. It, it is free to play, but actually, there is now nothing left in our draw pile that can use heads. So we might as well call it gamble, spin that. We get heads anyway, but we get one more composure, which was worth it. Mm -hmm. The alternative is that we do one damage to their argument, right? It's card stolen. Right. Okay, so that's there. <clears throat> we can do, do damage to this to get our card back. Um, I believe it goes to your hand, which is nice. And also, t okay, there's, there's plays it. Um, I'm not going to go through everything that that says. Return a card hand and set two vulnerability. All resolve, blah, blah, blah. That's basically weakness. Um, so they'll take more damage. Frash gains one composure for each hostility card that you draw. So that's new. That's just shown up. Um, but we didn't know, so we couldn't avoid it. Uh, we could call it again. We don't have any composure. If we don't think that we could win from this turn, we should avoid all this damage that's incoming. Draw a card, discard a card, expend. If you're currently prepared card, plus two. It is the leftmost card in your hand. Can you move them around? I don't think so. Bonus damage until the end of this turn, which is... Do you think that'll give it some damage? I'm not sure. Let's try it. Play that. It did not. So I thought that would give it plus two damage as well. It didn't do plus two damage, which is a shame. Um, which means I think what we do is we gamble. This is new. So that did one damage to that. That's great. Plus this does extra damage. Still only two to four. We could get this back. I don't think that's worth it. Did max damage. We'll apply some composure. <clears throat> we are going to take some damage. That's okay. I'm trying to go slowly to help people who are new to this keep up. But really, it's just a fight. You've taken that. I don't care. You've taken one composure because we drew that again. But, like, whatever. Let's just win. Easy peasy. So there's different targets you can attack, obviously. The main argument is the one you have to destroy, but the other arguments tend to either attack you or boost them. So sometimes it's worth attacking those. That's not what we needed to do this time, which is great. 
Attack two random arguments is pretty good. Deal max damage on heads. Prepared, gain one action. Interesting. I don't know if there's a way of forcing a card to be prepared. These are new, um, new design spaces. I've not seen any cards with these, uh, these assets before. There's, there's a whole separate deck of cards for Sal, apparently, which is really cool. Uh, or deal plus one argument damage for every argument you have. So around our circle, just like they did, they had multiple things besides their core argument. This, eh. Um, it's either this one or this one. And I'm thinking, basically what happens is if it's when you draw it, you might get an extra action if it's in the right place as a result of that. Which I think is worth it. So let's try it. Do you want to get your superiors involved? <laughs> they just doubled the fee. But fine, Griff, to have it your way. You better have some work papers, else the only thing I'm authorized to give you is a kick in the seat. Hand over your papers. No need for hostilities, friend. I'm here by invitation. See for yourself if you'd like. You pull the signed work visa from an oil skin wallet you carry for such purposes. That sounds cool. I'd like an oil skin wallet. Huh, looks legit. Who exactly are you meant to report to? You're here to work security, you will relieve blacklist. Take names. Gain one damage for each name taken, zero names. Playing this card against a new unique character adds their name to the list. So you can remember people who you've had an altercation with in the past. You're here to dig. Shovel. The battle card. Deal two bonus damage per empty cell. Gain two defense per charge. And expense. You can use it once. So you can either gain a bunch of charge and defend yourself. Or have no charge and attack with it. That's pretty cool. Um, I, <laughs> I want to try all these things. This one seems cool. The more people we use it on and it's free, um, the better it becomes. No way someone like you. And this time you reach the fine print. Oh, I mean, of course you are. So, better hurry this along. Philemo doesn't like to be kept waiting. Thank you for that. Still got to search you though. You've got anything to declare. You rummage through your backpack showing fresh contents. You've got one thing worth declaring then. Coin purse, training mine, upgrade a battle card, or add a negotiation graft slot. That is a very early play. We have three slots right now and no grafts at all. There's a chance we don't even find a fourth negotiation graft, and there's a chance that when we do find a fourth negotiation graft, we don't mind getting rid of the ones we already have. So I, I think I'm... I think 100 shills goes further. Uh, we could ask more about Philemo, or... Yeah, sure. Let's have some law. Don't suppose you know what kind of work Philemo might have for me. How the hell should I know? Things are getting rough with the workers, though. They want more rights, better pay. Maybe Philemo wants you to work security and shut down their union before it starts. I see, that makes sense. And what if I would prefer to find other work? If Philemo is expecting you, I wouldn't want to disappoint him. But there's always more work to be had in the bog. You could check in with a foreman named Calandra. She's not too strict. Might take pity on an old fogey like you. Charming. Am I free to go? Oh, whatever. Thank you, officer. It's been a pleasure. Don't try anything funny in there. You go through the gate, you feel like Frash will miss you when you're gone. Because he doesn't get to talk to anybody. He doesn't usually get beaten in Nugget. This is new as well. I'm, I'm pleased that not everything takes place in the same town. I've only played Cell's thing so far. This is all new to me. So this is us over here. <coughs> Excuse me. Calandra, a local Labour leader, has put out word that she's looking for much to help. Or we should go straight to Thelemo. I think we should go straight to Felibo because we were asked to. A random encounter. So this game has random encounters. The The point is that you're exploring this town. You're doing things. You're doing missions and stuff. You are traveling. You're, obviously, your person has moved around the thing. And we've got a random encounter. And we're going to use our cards to get through this encounter. You suddenly feel a white hot stinger on the back of your neck. Hespit. Feel your neck. Carefully probe the area with your fingers. Whatever bit you is long gone, leaving only the slightest smear... Whatever it left behind. A cool wave of euphoria radiates into the base of your skull. Clearing your mind of any further so thoughts about the incident. Gained four resolve. So the damage we took in the previous battle, which was a negotiation, has gone. Twig. Ooh, bring that back. When this card is drawn, take one damage. Unplayable parasite hatch. Removing this card from your deck lowers your maximum health by ten. When this card reaches full XP, it's destroyed and gains triggers a special event. I'm assuming that when it's drawn... So, okay, we haven't covered that. Cards have XP. When you play them enough, you upgrade them. That's what those dashes are underneath the name twig. Uh, when they level up, stuff happens. This one, when it levels up, it's an automatic event. Um, I'm guessing that when it is drawn, it takes its thingy, because I can't play it. 
When this card is drawn, increase the cost of a random card in your hand until the end of this turn, which will also hatch eventually. I'm guessing when it hatches, that's going to be gross. Okay, so... <laughs> I've been injected with some sort of brain parasite, and now things will happen in future. I like that there's a sort of a meta game here, because I, as a player, know about this thing, but the character doesn't. I could discard that card, I could delete that card from my hand and not worry about the hatch event. But then I will lose max HP, which is not great because I don't have much of it. As you enter the official looking building, you are stopped by an armed guard. <clears throat> Stay there and state your business, Grifter. Show Astel your papers. The official sort, my good soldier. Nothing to fret about. You show Astel your signed papers. He somehow studies them while still fixing you with a suspicious glare. This checks out very well. You step inside. Done. <clears throat> you will be Felimo. So these are all people. They can like us, they can dislike us. Um, you're a patron. Go ahead to visit. Um, you have a thing for me? So, different people liking you or hating you will give you benefits to either battle or negotiation. The whole thing is very holistic. Like, lots of things work against one another or in favour of one another. Felomo is easy to recognise, which I'm going to pronounce a different way each time, even though the years have been a little too kind to him. You spot him lapping a drink like a contented salamander. Cool. I see you've gone up in the world since discharging, eh, rookie? Rook your scandal, you finally made it. <clears throat> Figured you'd be able to move faster than that, even with that bum leg of yours. Dock town's a long way from here, fellow And that's Captain Rook to you, even if we're both retired. We meet Rook when we're Sal in the other city. That's how we unlock this. I'll call you your royal highness if you can get the job done. Enough fiddle-faddle, let's get to work. Let's get you to work, so you can see what I'm up against. Uh, just as go. You wouldn't have called me out here if it went for something interesting. I'll take the job. Excellent! If there's anything who can get to the bottom of this, it's you. I have a couple of things that need doing. Right, what have we got? Caught in the chaos. It's battle and negotiation. Sru is being held for ransom by the Rise. Felomo wants you to get Sru out by whatever means necessary. 70 shields and remove a card. So we could use this mission to get rid of the thing that's stuck in the back of our neck at the expense of HP. Kind of interested to see what happens when it hatches. Uh, all play and no work. Gora has been shirking his duties as a battle. Felomo wants you to beat him up to set an example for the others. 65 shills and restoration. Now, the thing about this is that I do not have enough information. I don't have enough experience in this deck to know what's good to get rid of. However, he says, waving his hand around at no camera, um, it's generally considered a good idea to get rid of basic boring cards. But you should probably only do that when you've got better cards to replace them. Okay, so <clears throat> you, like, these are pretty good. A lot of these are pretty good. However, we might be able to, this one doesn't um, cost me anything to get rid of it. Oh no, removing this card from your deck lowers your maximum health by 10. So it's a parasite as well. Uh, and it's the same for this. We haven't got any new uh, battle cards yet, except for the bad one. So it's probably best not to get rid of something. Um, this early on. However, by the time we get to the end of this battle, we're probably going to want 20 health. So even though this is more money and a pretty decent thing, remove a card can be expensive. I don't know what I would want to remove. Uh, let's do it. Corn requires the utmost discretion. We might be able to find one on the way, you know. Of course, frankly, it's insulting. You'd even specify. The track record has been, shall we say, spotty as of late, no? And I'm the client, so I'll set the parameters as I see fit. Um, we don't know how long this mission is. It could be a few turns, and there could be other stuff that happened on the way. And I'm trying to get my hairband out of my hair without actually squealing. There we go. How that hurt. Um, so we could, we could find cards. You know, we, we don't know what's going to happen. Hello, as I used to say, mission accepted. Salute. Glad to hear it, whatever it takes. Old chap, you understand. I, I got the impression you were a very old chap sort of person, but I don't know. just gets through back, but discreetly. He's got the moustache for it anyway. Oh, and perhaps you ought to take one of our auto dogs with you, just in case you get into a spot. Might pay to have spot on hand, yeah? You know? Hmm, quite. New party member, Slick, join the party. So this is a robot. You're not alone, apparently. By the way, you can uh, gain compadres, compatriots, companions, and they will fight for you. Ruffians, <laughs> so to speak, will be a, a detriment 
when negotiating because your negotiation partner will be scared of it, which will undermine you. However, there will be a bonus in um, in battle. Random encounter? No. We should probably check out this uh, this person we've got. Fortunately, it's easy enough to find the Rise encampment. A loose group of union organizers and freedom fighters campaigning for workers' rights across Herbaria. Okay. After all, they know the bog better than you do. If they didn't want to be found, it would have been much more of a challenge. It means they're open to negotiation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Sure enough, you're not shot on sight. A Rise member approaches, a weapon at hand, but not at the ready. What do you want, stranger? This part of the bog ain't exactly hospitable to Gorkas. Come seeking the Baron, actually. Sru, have you heard of her? What's it to you? That don't seem like any of your business. So, again, the options. You can pay 100 sales. How about no? Only just got those. Uh, you can convince them, 36 versus 20. Or you can beat it out of them. <clears throat> it's an easy fight. But we don't know their HP and they have a thing as well. So, let's try another negotiation. The negotiation um, mechanic of this game is is very much unique to it, so I'd like to do as much of it as possible. Calandra sent me on to escort through to a safe house. We have reason to suspect <laughs> scouting around for anyone eavesdropping upon us. We have reason to suspect the barons have a rescue in mind and we need to convince them otherwise. A rescue? Barons don't usually shed blood for one of their own. You sure? I am sure. So normally there's something attacking me for four thingies, right? Um, these basically represent them playing cards. But obviously they don't have cards, they're an NPC. That's okay. On the outer ring is what you can attack. On the inner ring, I've never seen anything that can attack something on the inner ring, but there is wording in certain parts of the game that suggests that you can do. So I uh, basically I've yet to find it. Um, so this has been augmented in cost by the Oh by by that card, which hasn't even been drawn, so that's a bit rude. Um Apply some composure. I think what we do is we apply composure. Don't take any damage this turn. Gamble. Nice. That did one damage. And now we get a bonus damage on this and we don't have to play the next gamble. And I assume that will go down or again be the one that is uh, augmented. It's gone up again. That's even worse. Two of them have gone up now. Until the end of this turn. This seems like a bug then. Because this... Modified by Call to Rise. Ah. Start of his turn as a, ra a random card this hand costs one extra action in this negotiation. But this one is modified by Call to Rise and Stem. This whole negotiation. So he's going to be adding lots and lots of... Right, so this was in the previous turn... <laughs> Augmented by stem. Or no, previous turn augmented by call to rise. Now it's been augmented by stem as well, but call to rise stays. So this is always going to be augmented by call to rise. That's a bit of a, bo a bother, I have to be honest. Um, so what do we do here? We can do extra damage. What is this? So a propaganda card. Prepare a card, swap its cost with this card's cost. That looks good. Why is that on your side? Prepare a card and swap its cost with this card's cost, which is zero. And we have a thing that we want to prepare. That seems good. All right, I'm going to keep that and see why it's bad. Uh, let's improvise something. Pretty composure is good. We're taking four damage. Okay, one bonus action. Next turn, and set one flustered. Flustered means that they hurt you less. <clears throat> Uh, the three composure seems good because we don't have any composure in our hand right now. So we should put some on there to keep keep hold of that. Keep, keep ourselves. Play that whilst we, whilst we can afford it. Um, this is the only other thing we can play, so we might as well do it. It was one. That's okay. So let's come back down to one. Just because of Call to Rise. But it might go up again. That might start to cost one, actually, if it gets upgraded by this. Three. So this is call to rise. This is call to rise. Doing four damage to here. So prepared, gain one action. So if we play this, we can prepare this card. 
That gave us an action. Gained one action? Okay, whatever. Uh, gamble? Not what I wanted, but that's the gamble for you. Can't play this now. I was kind of hoping that that would actually, you know, give me my action back. But okay. Might as well play it. Might as well play it. Might as well play it. We did get our action back. <laughs> Heck. Maybe it's because we played it that we got our action back? I'm so confused. It's possible that it being prepared and then played gave us an action. We'll have to look out for that next time. So... We can prepare this, but that will then go up in price. <laughs> but we'll get our action back, but there's no point doing that. I'd rather call it... Yeah. Okay, well, at least it's doing damage to stuff. Um, give me a damage card? No. Prepare a card and expend. Apply three composure. We could reverse our lucky coin. Which will do four damage, which is really good. Well, let's do that. Max damage on that. And then next time we flip the coin, we've got a decent chance of that... Um, just doing that one damage that we need to do. Well, that's really good. I'm starting to tease apart this synergy here. Of course, you are thickening our deck, which is a problem. Maybe once we've got a couple of those, we want to get rid of that. Because um, we're just going to end up with a card full of uh, a handful of those cards. You know? Call it. Oh, come on. Sorry. Um, I'm starting to get a feel for the... Oops. The, the seams that you get in this deck, the way that they all fit together and stuff like that. But as it stands... Yeah, so we won this negotiate. We've got a negotiation card just from... You know, playing through this. So eventually, by the time we get to the end of this mission, we probably do want to remove something. Um, we've seen this before. Remove composure or steal composure. From what? Um, I don't know if that means remove composure from them or remove composure from me. Like, am I gambling between gaining and losing it myself? Bluff. This card costs no draw a card. So if we're on... Um, it basically seems to me that if you're on snails, you're doing extra damage. And if you're on heads, you're doing extra diplomacy. So I, I think this seems good because a lot of the time we are on heads. 50% of the time we're on heads. Through is more important than first assumed, which is why all the more crucial... It's all the more crucial we keep her in a pocket as a bargaining chip. Oh, that's big news, all right? Then the hidden entrance is over there. Necto points you towards an inconspicuous spot in the tree line, and you head inside. Unfortunately, I didn't manage to play the taking names thing in this because it kept being upgraded so that I couldn't afford it. But, you know, it's okay. It's just one. We've missed one name off the list. Whoa, what do you think you're doing in here? I'm here to pick up Saru, boss's orders. This is the first I'm hearing of it. Attack Wade? No. Nope. Convince us to give you Saru. Offer to trade Saru for your auto dog. No, we'll play another round of this. We've lost a bit of resolve, but we'll get there. And I'm interested to know what these different uh, characters have in, in terms of... You've got the same call to rise, look. So I was hoping... No. Uh, I was hoping to get the names card. Apply to composure does seem important. Let me only get to do this much damage. We can gamble on three damage, or we can guarantee three or three damage. I think what well, you do both, and you right. Forget about the composure. <laughs> Who cares about composure? Um, do you know what? Let's. I try to. I keep right clicking because you right click is cancel, but if you right click on something, it doesn't cancel it right click. Let's gamble on getting. Okay, fair enough. We did get some composure anyway. The alternative was to do more damage with this, so I think it's a bit of a win-win doing a free gamble. It really depends on the situation. I'm sure there's reasons why you wouldn't do it, but, you know, now and then a free, ga a free gamble is great. Uh, prepared game one action. There's no way of preparing right now. I'd like some composure. We'll do four damage. And honestly, I think these pleasantries are going to be the thing we thin our deck out by getting rid of. They... They're basically three damage and that's it. Ah, that's what we might see. So you're, you two basically do exactly the same thing as um, this one and the previous one. Uh, take names is here. I will play it because I want it on the list. 
<laughs> Wade, is it? Hmm. I like the fact that it does do some damage, and it gives me the sense that this person is a little bit flustered by the fact that you've just written their name down on a list and they don't know what their list is for. Um. Hmm. <clears throat> I think... You play this, prepare this, this now costs zero. You apply composure for free. We use trickery to get... Ah, that's a shame. I didn't know that existed. Draw a card, discard a card. I don't think there's any point in dis in, in drawing... Like, our discard. We're going to be drawing one of these, and most of them cost energy. So, um... I think we don't want that. <laughs> it's just this. These are all bad, unfortunately. Uh, so we'll gamble and see if we can do a bit of bonus damage. We didn't, but we got some bonus uh, composure. And that does do damage, actually. Flipping that on purpose does do your eyes damage or composure, which is great to know. Um, but we're, we're, this is done. We're nearly there. Ship, 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 ship. Uh, can we do five damage? Maybe with this. Right. <clears throat> we can do... N yes, we can do five damage. We might be able to do five damage. We've got two left. Might be one of them. I want both of these. <laughs> right, let's use this. Um, this is free, so we'll use it. It keeps the cost. I didn't... Ooh. That's really good. Repair this. Give your opponent a prepare card. Extra damage. Please do max damage. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Sorry. There's enough of these. I don't need any more of these. Just finish it. <laughs> I'm done. Enough. That's great. I, I, I hadn't realised that that propaganda card keeps the value. So if you manage to play it for free, which it is, a lot of your cards can end up free. Apart from the fact that they keep accidentally, you know, increasing the propaganda card because of the other thing. But that's fine. Um, deal two damage to all enemy. Ooh. So this does a gamble, and if you get slugs, everything takes two damage. So it's a 50% chance of doing two damage to everything for one cost. <sighs> Dogged, prepare a card. This card costs naught. So if this is your leftmost card, it's free and you prepare another card. I like this. Fine taker, I just wish they would tell us these things. I'm glad you understand. Leave. Saru joined the party. Right, so there's a chance that now Saru will either heckle us or help us in negotiations. Or join us in fights, maybe. I'm not sure. Not sure. Hello, Felimo. What brings you back? Through has been freed. Rock, I'm, I'm glad to see you again. You never really know in dealing with the rides, you know? I trust everything went smooth. Ah, sure did. I got through out no problem. I hope the auto dork was useful, but I'm going to have to take it back now. Look, I didn't use it, I'll be honest. Of course, thanks for letting me borrow it. Um, It didn't do me any... didn't do any problems, but it didn't help either. It could have been a problem in negotiation. Of course, thanks, thanks for that. I really appreciate it. Fellow Mo likes you. Through let the party. Okay. That's okay. Shrew loves you. You've managed to capture her loyalty. Don't waste it. Rescued them from the rise. I, I'm a, I'll confess, my brain is a little bit overwhelmed and I'm not fully following the story, but that's okay. Um, now that Shrew loves me, I get this boon. When you sleep, gain two experience on a random card, which is cool. So every night, one of our cards will gain two experience. I'm hoping it's ones that can get experience, i.e. not already upgraded ones. Um, you get paid 70 shills. That was actually a really good one. I'm glad I chose that. Um... We picked up a lot of negotiation cards because we did a lot of negotiations. I think that is our best bet. Um, this pleasantries has one XP. I'm going to get rid of it. We've got some good cards now. Cool. Um, you like me. You love me. Might, might help if you're in trouble. Um, we've got more jobs here, but if we... Where's the go away button? <laughs> How do I leave? Let me out. 
there's no go back to the map. I'm, I'm scared. <laughs> I'm trapped in here by you fools. All right, we'll talk to you a bit more then. All right, I have another job for you. Wild pack of barren dogs. It's a battle. It'll be the first time we have a battle, and we'll get from it. Uh, gain three influence and destroy after one use. The negotiation item. Influence is good <clears throat> because all of those green cards that we've got. That might be green, that might be yellow. I'm sorry. I'm colorblind. Don't judge me. I'm not going to talk in terms of colors anymore. All those the diplomacy cards that we've got, i.e. these ones, will do maximum damage um, when we have influence. So currently they're doing maximum damage when we have heads, but not all diplomacy cards I believe are like that. That one's not, but then that one always does that amount of damage. Currently they are, I don't know if that's always true, or a negotiation, which we're good at, 94 shields upgrade a negotiation or battle card. Um, I think we should try our battle. A pack of auto dogs has malfunctioned and is terrorizing the bog. This one's way more money though. And that's like a really bad card. <laughs> it's free, but you only get it use it once. You get to use it once. So play the food fight to get more money. It's a negotiation, but we'll we'll have an opportunity in the future to do a battle. Now we see to it that the barons are dying like the Kradeshi dynasties of old. But for the laborers, we process some of the biomass extraction byproduct. Now, we see to it that the Baron's dying like the Kradeshi dynasty of old, but for the laborers, we process some of the biomass extraction byproduct into a nutritional paste. I'm surprised you haven't cracked under the strain of your jealousy. Please, Rook. This is it myself. No worse than Admiralty field rations. The calories and nutrients are exactly what's needed to keep the workforce healthy. Unfortunately, the ingrates aren't satisfied. They've been causing chaos at the serving lines, and it's holding up meal breaks. Ah, delay in operations jeopardizes the whole mission, as you well know. We shall do it. See that the ruckus is quelled so I can turn my brain power back to the bottom line. Hmm. As you like. Oh, and I suppose you'll be wanting to requisition some supplies. But I'm afraid that's not on the table, friend. You're a contractor after all. Try the bartender over at the last stand. It's an unsavory sort of place and it'll serve unsavory sorts like you. Otherwise, I'm sure you'll find everything you need. You always were resourceful. Well, we did. We managed to gain cards just by talking to people, which is amazing. Now I can open the map. Food fight. The last stand. Provisions. You can buy factional items here when you're on the clock. So you are lying to me. Fair enough. Um, Hebel sells refreshment and healing. We might be able to stand to have a bit of resolve healed. Now you can drink. And if you buy a drink and drink the drink. And just your Kradeshi approach you as you enter. Then you get cards in your deck that... You get debuffs, basically. Your Admiralty, yeah? I can read it across your shoulders. I was once. Aerostat, if I had to guess. Compliment Pengament on his perception. Warn Pengament to mind his own business. I'm feeling complimentary today. They can take our youth, eh? But they can't take our cunning. Oh, they would if they could, I'm sure. All right, well met then. Enjoy your... You have your squadron coin? Can can I see it? No, that's quite personal. No, please don't take offense. I'm a collector, you see. I have several coins of my own if you're up for a trade. I'm always here. I like the foot traffic. You decide you might be up for a trade. Just find me. Pengament backs off and seems content to give you your space. If there's an angle, you can't guess it. Interesting. That's you, is it? Yes. Is a vendor. Your patrons. You're a vendor. This bar is well known in your network. A quiet speakeasy where folks like you can rest away from prying eyes. The clients keep their heads down even as you come in. If they're curious enough to study your face, they're clever enough to hide it. Hello, Barkeep. The name is Rook and I'm simply parched. Barkeep inspects you carefully, nods once, and keeps the conversation nice and low. Word was I should expect you. I don't make a habit of helping out no more than I need to. You keep that in mind. Thank you. Thank you, Barkeep. Your warmth and hospitality will certainly keep me going today. Will keep me going today. For certain. Hold on, I got something for you. Hebel digs around under the bar, producing a lined case of unlicensed grafts. A gift, my fine friend? We've only just met. Calling good favours. Good favours. I do. Pick a graft reward just for talking to this person. And I didn't even know I had to. Right. Common negotiation graft. Guarantees the result of your next gamble. Only one outcome can be rigged at a time. So at the start of the negotiation, rig two, two heads is. So two of our gambles are guaranteed to be heads, which is two guaranteed um, composure and guaranteed max damage on all our diplomacy cards, which is pretty good. Battlegraphs. Concentration. Increases minimum damage of all attacks by one. Half your concentration unit, okay. Pets have plus 10 health. 
I like this one. We're doing a lot of negotiations and it's worth it. Very useful. And if I wanted to call in further favors, I got drinks and I got eats. You want anything other than that? You're going to have to talk to the Jakes. Collection of free laborers who work the docks. They have a shop set up on the edge of the bog and the edge of the law, for that matter. But they're a cagey bunch, so you might have to prove yourself worthy of their business. I'm sure you'll figure it out. Well, I appreciate the information. I'm sure we'll speak again soon. Uh, can I buy... Right. You can buy cards from this person. Uh, what have we got here? Negotiation card. Apply six composure. That's really good. For free as well. You get two uses, but it costs nothing. Gain one power. It's a battle card. Uh, and ten heal. Also a battle card. Um, it's good, but I'm not going to buy it. Buy a drink. Uh, I didn't mean to, but I did. <laughs> that hits the spot. Gain 10 resolve. I meant to. Gain cards. Slow speech. This is what I was saying. Slow speech, you... It basically fills your deck up. It does nothing. It costs two to play. But you end up drawing it. So it takes the place of a card that could have done something. And tipsy is one. Uh, uh, and it's the same. Um, so we haven't got a choice about that, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but that's fine. This is where we sleep. Change into another of Rook's outfits. I'm guessing this is where we sleep. I'm swaying slightly, I love that. Um, so our negotiations are now undermined slightly by the fact that we've got these cards in our hand that do nothing and cost a lot of energy to get rid of. Food fight. Black market. You've heard of Jake's... Let's do side missions. This is going to be a long episode, by the way. I hope that you're not, <laughs> you know, um, hoping to go to bed anytime soon. You approach the market, but an armed guard seeps out of the shadows to cut you off. The establishment is for members only. Turn around now and go back the way you came. Uh, buy a membership, 100 shills. Mention a friend. You don't have any friends who are already members. This should be an easy convincement, and we can probably use this, A, to gain a name, and B, to get rid of some of those slow speech cards and stuff. As a clandestine as you make it sound, this is ultimately a business. Right, so this is rigged. He can break that, so we could lose our rigging, so to speak. But you're attacking this. Deal max damage, so you're currently on snails. So. I think this is absolutely worth playing this early on. I'm happy to tank the 4 damage if necessary. Um, but I... Th I think it will be... We could add 2 composure and get some XP on this. Yeah, I think it's best. We've done we've done a decent amount of damage, so we should probably try and. It's really easy to accidentally bleed off all of your um, compose, all of your resolve on this argument, and, and lose the negotiation in the blink of an eye. It's happened before, <laughs> and besides, this is back. So there you go. Um, you're not doing anything this turn, which means that you're. Oh, you might be. Let's try and get rid of this succeed. So you are doing 4 damage to me. Ha ha ha, sneaky. Prepare a card, prepare this card cost 0. So I'm not going to do that. It doesn't f enable anything. But we can get 1. We can get 3 composure out of this and max damage on that, which I think is pretty good. Well, that one would do max damage as well, but then we couldn't be able to play it. Couldn't be able to play it? Ah! A diplomacy card that does not do max damage when you have snails, uh, when you have heads. So, I think we just do this. I... That one got the... Okay, fair enough. <laughs> Ooh! Now it's prepared. I didn't even realise that would happen. So if you can get rid of all your cards in your hand, suddenly that one's prepared. That's really good. I nearly used that. <laughs> I nearly uh, ended my turn without noticing that. That's the sort of thing I expect comments about. Uh, this card costs not draw a card. Uh, I can use my other rigment. This one's costing extra right now. Oh, taking a lot of damage here. It's a problem. I think we use this first. Plus it will reduce that by a decent amount, because each of those separate ones... Yeah, that seems like a good... Because these will go down to three. Now, two composure is not enough. <laughs> Let's rig this. Let me get what at least we deflect one. It's hardly anything. I think the best thing. Oh. 
It's still four damage. Versus. Wait, that's five. So that'd be three damage. Yeah, my mistake. I can count, I promise. Three damage or two damage. <laughs> two, three. I only get one. Just do that. I'm playing it cautiously because I know that we've got a load of cars coming back around again. We could do something like we did before. In fact, you just... Where did that go? What happened there? <laughs> I have no reason... To, I have no understanding of why that bounced back again. Okay. Um, this card is free. Might as well use it. So what we get. Two composure, two composure. Trickery. If we spend this, this is free. Let's do that. Only one, but this is now free. Let's use our trickery to see if we can get something good. We didn't. Uh, we don't have a, a gamble. Or we have no reason to rig that at all. Although we can pick it. And we can keep it. I think we'll just gain a bonus action next turn. Then we'll do this and this. And it's going to ask me to prepare that, but who cares? He didn't even ask me because there's nothing I can do. What are you even talking about? You're getting a lot of composure and I don't appreciate that. Now we've got max damage cards. That's what we like to see. You do max damage. You do max damage. You do max damage. It was all a matter of time before this max damage thing paid off in the end. Whew, that was a while. Right, when this card is drawn, gamble. No. Rig two snails, then improvise a hostility card from your draw pile. Do we have a hostility card? Because there was one that worked really well, with, that did a whole bunch of snails, right? But we'd have to draw it. Well, first of all, we don't have it. And secondly, if we did have it, it'd still have to come out of a random draw for it to work. Uh, discard this card, draw a card. I don't really like dominance cards, so I'm just going to say no. Then we'll upgrade these. What do we get? Rig one. That's pretty good. Could be pretty good. Or we just, just give him, give me maximum damage. <laughs> this is the way I'm working. I'm going full on everything. Just browbeat the bastards into submission. Improvise a card from a pool of upgraded or improvise plus. So you can choose one of five or you can choose an upgraded one. I will always take upgraded. I'm noticing this one cannot be upgraded. I will always take upgraded uh, choices over more choices. My work takes me all over the continent, my friend. Sometimes all the way to Rintoria. I'm a member of. I'm a member worth having with connections in every faction. You spy them. Uh, fine. Conditional membership granted. You better have shills to spills. Ich, ich do. It's Plock of the Swab. What are you doing here? You live in. Hmm, I don't know. Well, you're a vendor. What have you got to sell? I'm surprised to see a Spark Baron here selling grafts. You look like someone who could use an edge. I have several available for a price. What are you doing here, exactly? You remember the Spark Barons, are you not? I am. And this is an illegal black market operation run by the Jakes. Is it not? It is. How do you reconcile that? Shouldn't you be reporting this to your superiors? Ellipsis. I contain multitudes. <laughs> very, very funny. Right, so show me what you got. Distressor. Vulnerability is twice as effective for and against you. Simulacrum. Duplicate the first argument you create every negotiation. That can be really good if you have something that creates an argument for you that you want multiple of. It's 200 shills. And this one, which we probably can't afford. Start of each negotiation, choose a card in your hand and duplicate it. It costs zero until played. Those are cool. Battle grafts. Rejig. At the start of each battle, discard up to two cards and draw that many new cards. Poker. Bottom edge. Attacks. All attacks gain plus one to minimum damage up to their maximum damage. That's decent. Concentration probably unaffordable. Yep. Uh, to gain two concentration. Good to know that they're available. Probably when we come back, they won't be. You are. You don't have anything to tell me. Because I let you in doesn't mean I trust you. Break anything in here and I'll break you. You're the only person with anything to sell. Well, heck you then. I'm not spending all that money on nothing. Uh, let's go and play our mission. You step through the door and find a group of workers facing off against a solitary baron. You already got your rations, now take a walk. That wasn't enough and you know it. 
how are we supposed to get our job done if we're half starved? Your robot ain't here to protect us today, Baron. It pauses as you enter, both looking at you expecting them. Talk to the lead worker or talk to the spark baron. Worker. The most talkative of the workers steps forwards. Our contract says we're supposed to get two square a day, but this slop ain't enough. The baron is cutting our rations and expecting us to pay him to make up the difference. We won't be extorted anymore. Talk to Fallow Palo instead. Hold that thought. The Baron gives a sigh of relief when he sees you. You're Felimo's man, right? My usual enforcers in the repair shops so of course the local rabble are pushing their luck today. Please take care of this so I can get to business. Threatened to stop skimming food. Convinced to compromise. These are the same. Except, this is an intimidation attempt and Fallow Palo will dislike you. Convince Fallow Palo to compromise, but you will have to convince both sides. I like that. Or to convince Fallow Palo to back you up in a fight, that's easy. So there are mutators. There's, you know, the, there's ways of amending the meaning of a negotiation or a battle. In this case, it's an intimidation attempt, which means that you're going to... Basically, it means they'll dislike you. When you're doing a battle, you can be a defender or an aggressor. If you're an aggressor, then you will get reputation for being aggressive, which will undermine your negotiations so these things work against one another we haven't seen any bloody battles yet um i will let's 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 do a compromise we could get a lot out of this i think look they just want a little more tweets that really such a problem you could be in halfway couldn't you so we're gonna have to knock you down as quickly as possible we've already started well um go easy or can go hard right i think it might be worth destroying this No, we'll do that later. We want to make sure we get through this one uh, safely, basically. And we know that we're going to get our thingy, right? Well, it's done that. That's okay. We'll do max damage with this. All is good. Being, doing two negotiations means we get to upgrade both of our sets of cards, I think. Improvise a card. This one. You've stolen my trickery. This is your thieving thing. Fire the Pelagons one composed of each hostility card you draw. There's, there's a lot of that. <laughs> By the way, if you attack something that has less damage than less uh, composure than resolve, that's called resolve. If you attack something that has less resolve than you do d resolve damage, then it will spill over to I think a random argument, but I'm not certain about that. So if we do, I'd like to prepare this. Let's blacklist you and get rid of this. Now, that did damage to that, which is great. We got our thing back. There's a chance that we get something that can help out here. Or we could just do damage and composure. We are taking a lot of damage. We'll resolve this creature by one. That's, that's a problem. I'm glad I didn't take the vulnerability graft. Um... Yeah, I think we do this. It saves us some damage. Basically, I'm going along the theory that a best defense is a good offense, right? You stole that away, huh? When destroyed, you lose half your resolve, and that is way less than half your... Well, that's easier to beat, basically. Um, this card costs zero. We can prepare something. We have no reason to prepare something, but at least it's free. So, here you go. Oh, <laughs> doesn't matter. We did lose a bit of resolve there, and I'm not 100% with it. <laughs> not 100% behind it, I guess I should say. Pick a negotiation card. Influence is kind of good. That seems really hard to enable. If that was like a, um, uh, like a one-off, you play it and then that's your... If that added an argument to your set so that it existed for the entirety of the negotiation, that would be great. But I can't see that working if it wasn't. Um, I like the idea of gaining influence because now this will be our second card 
where it doesn't get maximum damage from having heads up. Uh, rig one and then deal max damage. Or gain one influence and deal max damage. We do have an influence thing rolling. That seems good. Let's try that. I guess I can make half work, but only if they back down. Fine. Excuse me. Compromise. I get it, you're hungry, you're doing hard work, and you don't feel like the barons are holding up their side. Can't promise you everything you're asking for, but what if I could get you a little more? Would you stand down then? Right, what's your thing? Against two composers where Nook, wherever Rook creates a new argument, so that just did that for us, great. You're going to destroy that, which is no fun. I can apply composure. I think we start with this so I don't forget. <laughs> it's me, right? Um, we can gamble and hope that we get our free composure on this argument, but that's there's still a 50-50. That one's rigged, but that one's not. Um, I think we just gain influence here. Because now this increases our influence. Might as well, yeah, just keep it over for now. We'll take one damage to that, that's okay. What's this? The Blooms of Cars deal minus one damage with a minimum of one damage. So you're suspicious of me, so we're going to have to destroy that. Uh, this one, please. Taking names. Chewing bubblegum. Was it just gum? Well, more out of gum. Uh, draw a card. Yes. Want to prepare you now. You're doing four damage to this, but we can't do anything about that. Let's just then. Um, oh, well, that's okay. Worth a try. There's a one in three chance we got any damage reduction on that, but we could probably go to bed soon, so that's okay. Increase the cost of a random card in your hand, which was this one, which I wasn't going to play anyway, I think. Two composure on this seems like a good idea. Four composure on this seems like a good idea. Um, there's nothing else I can do but gamble. Whatever. That was a bit of a moot turn, because I wanted to make sure this doesn't die. But that was the only thing I could do. So there you go. Prepared this card cost naught. Probably should have done something with that. Uh, we will prepare. It, doesn't, it really doesn't matter, I think. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, when destroy I pass lock? Res okay. So, right, just do that then. And that's it. <laughs> so we, we got through it. That was pretty easy. Pick a negotiation card. Uh, remove composure. We've seen that one before. We've got one of those. Plus three damage and draw a card. Having a prepared thing... We do have things that can help us prepare stuff now, which is great, so... Yeah, I think I'm gonna... We've got too many synergies going on, too many things to think about, so... Uh, it's okay. Apply two composure and rig a snail. Apply four composure. We do tend to take four damage a lot, so that seems like a good idea. Um, yeah, we have prepare a card for two, so we could prepare the other one, and then... But again... You know, there's only a few things where that prepared synergy works. Having them both in our hand at the same time is unlikely because we've got a thick enough deck that, you know, we can have several hands that don't contain any of them. Something is better than nothing. I'll listen to their offer. So then, isn't it? I talked over with Rook, and I can give you all a bit more. We'll take that as a first step, but we're watching you. And I'm watching you. If so much as a spoon goes missing from this place, I'll spike your food with fleed oil and give you all diarrhea. You leave them to work out the finer points. Good. Well done on us. Well done on us. That's how work. That's how English works. Um, it's quite late at night in real life as well, so everything is going wrong. Well, look who it is. You get paid. Trouble at the cafe is over. Cafe! A calm situation is good for business on your account on you. You get paid 94 shields. We can upgrade. Do you know what? We might as well keep going with the negotiations. I know that battles at some point are going to be really difficult to deal with. Um, but we could just like straight up upgrade this one. Because this one's going to go anyway. Yeah. Plus five damage and draw a card. Or it's just three to five. 
If that's a straight plus five, that's great. Okay, let's do the maths. Maximum of four plus three is seven. Maximum of five plus three is eight. Minimum of three, minimum of six. Minimum of seven. This is six to eight, and that's seven to nine. Wait, what? Yeah, that seems better. Fair enough. <clears throat> now, Rook, you know damn well I didn't call you all the way out here just to rough up some organizers. I have my own enforcers for that. I need your particular skills. I thought you might. You want to discuss that here? Uh, no. Now that you mention it, I rather don't. The watering hole I mentioned earlier is a good place to have a quiet conversation. Meet me there after sunset. Yes, then we'll discuss more. You all right to make it there on your own, or will you need an armed escort? Ah, oh, yes, that gentle ribbing again. You forget, Captain, you may have been our leader, but I was a better marksman. It would have been a shame if that required a demonstration. It would be a shame. Velmo leaves you alone to contemplate his response. He means, I'll shoot you if you don't stop being weird. Right, limited time opportunity, gun show. An admiral to be weaponsmith uh, that the rook knows is here in the bug. Or, traveling also dog salesman has set up a makeshift store. So we can upgrade our battles either with a weapon or with an auto dog. I feel like a weapon will last less time. Just pick one, who knows. If we don't go to either of those, they both go away. Rook! They said you were dead. They say a lot of things, Frizz. Some of them are even true. They're never the ones you want. Am I right? Look at the size of these hands. What are you doing here? Working private security pays better than the Admiralty ever did. And I set my own hours. I'm looking. I'm here looking for freelance clients. No one only local who can pay do do dollar for good weapons. Uh, uh, ask why Frizz is in the bog. One of all the places you could choose to spend your leave, you pick Grout Bog. I make weapons. There's a lot of demand for that here. You're doing freelance design work? Work in holiday. I only have eight years left in my franchise. Never too early to think about one's retirement. Uh, tweaking my pistols. Remember these? You're still using those old things, eh? Those old things have to stick together. Surprised they're still intact. I was practically a child when I built those. Think you could do better now? Certainly, with the right parts and access to my tools. In about a week. What could you do with five minutes and diminished expectations? Make a couple of adjustments, I suppose. Increase charge chambers. Decrease charge chambers. Take back your piss. All right, so mm, let's have a look. We don't have much in the way of any um, synergies. There was an option, if you remember, that we could have had a card that either did more offense or defense, depending on whether I had more spaces or, you know, um, filled charges. I don't know of any reason why you're, you would decrease your charges. I don't even know how many charges I've got, <laughs> but I think we want to increase charge chambers. Could you increase them for charges? Yeah, it's possible. Tell you what, I'll add one for free. I can add two, but it'll cost you. Girls got to eat. Two charge chambers, 300 shields. Just do one. All right, give me a minute. Frizz opens the tool. Good, isn't you? Better even. Thanks, Frizz. This will come in handy. It was for old time's sake. I'll be off. Cool, so we didn't get anything that's going to go away soon. I'm back to Murder Bay. Don't get yourself killed out there. Um, sometimes when you go to these things, you end up with a card that is destroyed after one or two uses, and that's no good at all. Let's go and continue our mission. If I get through this day, and then we can sort of end the episode. It's been an hour already. Talk to you, huh? Wait for Felamo. You got cards I want yet? It's the same ones, huh? You know what? Let's, um... Let's go and see about these grafts. I liked a couple of them. It's not going to be long before we end up having to, um... Fight. <laughs> Keep telling you these grafts are made from someone of your talents. Right, so we liked... We could buy this one now. Because sometimes the first argument we create is going to be rigging stuff. Isn't it? So we're going to be end up, we're going to end up rigging either four heads, which could be good, or we have two rigs which both fire when I <laughs> when I flip, which means I'll get nothing out of it. I'm guessing that they wouldn't do that to me. Give me this. We've done it. Battlegraphs. Have we got any that we can afford? I don't really like these. I like this one. We need some more shills. 
It might still be there tomorrow, so that'll be alright. Well, what's money for if not to spend? So let's let's go and uh, continue this mission. Wait for this Joker. Wait for Felamu. Nothing for me, barkeep. I'm only here to meet someone. Ain't none of my business, is it? You lean against the bar and watch the crowd as you wait for sunset. Snooze. With the last of the light, Felamu walks through the door. There's nothing else for me to do. Here he is now. Ah, this place brings back memories. I won a lot of money playing cards at this very table. Is that why you brought me here to play cards? Well, I've been playing cards all this time. Why not? I have something even better in store for you, old friend. I want you to, to infiltrate the rise. It's time we put an end to this work of rebellion. I see. I'm to find out who's in charge. A member list? I know who's in charge. It's that Prindo Calandro. I'm hoping that at some point during this, we get the opportunity to defect and support the rise. I want you to get closer and make yourself invaluable. Stockholm Syndrome style. We'll take it from there. But how am I to do that when I can be seen having a friendly chat with a prominent spark baron? Why are we only talking? And you're very tricky. The taps here, loose and tongues, and I have valuable information. The kind of information that would be very valuable to the rise. Well, if the intel isn't good, the intel's very real, I assure you. We'll take a few casualties, but it's a price I'm willing to pay. So I'm to convince them I'm a double agent. You are a double agent. <laughs> Fair enough. Please, Rook, this is Charles Blake and Paris, your Admiral Tuesday. Admiral Tuesday. days. Sure, fine. I imagine I should just march right up to this Prindo Calandra, of course. Now turn yourself into one of the cells. I happen to know the location of one. Take it nice and slow, as you say. You've been seen with me. It'll take some convincing that you're on the level. Especially because their suspicions will be well-founded. I have no plan for extracting you if things go sour, old friend. So do try not to mess this up. Your loyalty is inspiring as always, fellow me. As always. So it's night time now. Another limited time opportunity. So there's going to be uh, remains from battles here. Or I can... Healing supplies. So this is going to be um, fighting stuff. And this is going to be healing stuff. Both for battles. Um, honestly, I tend to be bad at battles. We do have quite a lot of defense in our deck. But it doesn't tend to cover the damage that comes in. Just from experience. So I think the best thing to do is take healing supplies. And I think that if we spend too long looking for them, we get attacked. We find a cache of supplies half submerged in the bog. On opening it, most of the supplies are dry, but some of them look damaged by the bog water. Oh. I don't get to keep it. <laughs> Fine. Oh, that's a shame. I think the other one would have been something that expends itself. That's kind of annoying. I thought it would be a card or, you know, some... Well, yeah, a card. Some bandages or some healing tinctures or something like that. But it wasn't. We haven't got any more money. So we might as well just keep going. I haven't had any more encounters except for the one that stabbed me in the back of the neck. You head to the location fellow I mentioned, but as far as you can tell, it's nothing but a desolate patch of swamp. Kick up some moss looking for signs of buried fires. But eventually you see a small mark scratched into the lichen of a large stone. You lost, Grifter? Oh, I'm yawning. It's bedtime soon. You're the one contracting for the barons. Fair warning, you should leave while you still can. Oh, you're the one contracting for the barons. There's going to be a reckoning soon, said Granny, and nobody will care if you get caught in the crossfire. You remember the rise then? I don't suppose you know where I'd find Calandra at this time of night, do you? I'll kill you before I let you get to a bootlicker, be sure of that. Uh, beat up to establish dominance. There's two. Or convince. Uh, honestly, we have such low resolve that I think it's... Time to do a fight. So you have a problem with authority. Perhaps I should instill some more on you. Hmm. Let's have a look at this uh, charge then. Right, we've got one, two, three, four, five charge. Uh, no, I think we've got the hang of it. We have one charge already. We now have five. We would have had four. This is the first time we've learned this. Mm, a status effect will be applied by Cobblebot return, but nothing else. No one's doing any damage to me. Quick overview, because this is the first some of you will have seen this. When you do a fight in this game, you can... Get the enemy to flee. If, in order to do that, you simply have to get their HP down to this white bar or below, which is 24 damage. Once they are panicking, you can accept their surrender. However, they all have to be panicking at the same time. This one will not panic because it's a robot. Uh, immune to bleed and wound, piercing attacks do double damage. Nose damage blocked by defense. defense. Okay. <coughs> so, if I can do piercing damage to you, I've already taken one damage from this card. Well, gain two defense, please. 
not really valuable, actually, now I think about it. Um, but the charge might be good, so let's take an improvised card. Gain one overcharge. Increases max damage of all cards by one for each count of overcharge. Gain charge while fully charged generates overcharge instead. Reduce overcharge to so a charge. Gain two charge. Draw two cards. How much card? I see. So now that we've looked at this, if I had, if this was fully charged, I would get overcharge, which presumably has some value. <coughs> oh, damage of one plus extra damage. So if I had removed a charge, I could be overcharging all my attacks by now, which could be a good synergy. Or you could go for the synergy where you have a lot of charge. I understand now. That makes a lot of sense. I like that. Let me just get an overcharge, to be honest. Might as well start attacking you. We've got one overcharge. We don't have the charge required to get there, but that's okay. Uh, we might as well just blast you a bit more. Nice! What are you going to do to me? Cobblebot Return will attack exclusively this fighter. What is this? You on my side? When destroyed, the attacker gains three mending. Action on the surface is stirred the bogging for the Burton motion. Return to bogging four turns. If I can do 12 damage to that, I'll get some mending. I don't think I need that. This is just a targeting card. You're still not doing anything. So no one's doing me any damage still. Still two bonus damage. I feel like we should get rid of this. Because you're not going to panic whilst this is alive. So we really need to get rid of you. No one's doing me any damage yet. We might as well spend... Get rid of that for good. And then... Probably. <laughs> now what we've got. The next attack on this fighter does double damage and removes one def... <laughs> oh, thank you. That's a bit. Oh, one of them went away. Oh, you're attacking that now. So now we're only taking four damage, which is much better. Um, fine. Have that. Wish I had that doggy thing. <laughs> Ow. Hmm. Getting two charge will overcharge me, which is nice. And two defense. Not that I need it, apparently. Uh, eight to nine. So it does do more damage on this one as well. That's really good. Let me just do that. And it was nine. Are you just attacking that? That's going to go away in like two turns. Next turn. So unless you, Well, you are going to kill it. What if I kill it? Then you'll attack me for 10. I can hunker down, which will be 7. Must target enemy. You're not even an enemy. Oh, come on. Fine. Um, you have 4. That's bothersome. Just wail away on this joker. It's going to explode soon, so that's fine. Right. You didn't do anything. <laughs> because it went away and you were going to attack it. You fools. Ow. This again, huh? And then... This. And then next turn. Right, so it's just you. And you keep defending yourself, which is fine. Fatigued. Cars no longer again. It's I think that just means we've gone through too many turns. Is there a turn counter? Yeah, turn seven. I do need defense. I've got three overcharge, which is absurd. I only did eight damage. Oh, I haven't got any. Oh. Fine. I used a lot of um, used a lot of energy. What a shame. It's fine. It's fine. We have two overcharge left. Um, I will do this. 
take no damage and just apply a bit of damage to you. I think I'm okay with this. This is a long fight, considering. Because this enemy, you only need to do 13 damage. Don't be fooled by this 32 or 49. You only need 13 damage. And here's like 10 of it. 8 of it, whatever. And here's the rest of it. And then you can either kill him or accept surrender. So the rest of his HP is irrelevant. However, they do heal up. It, there's a reason why they have 18 extra HP here. Um, I will accept surrender. Pick a battle card. Double your overcharge. Not bad. Apply three bum. Or apply two mark and draw a card. Gain one charge and reduce mark by one. Um, I think mark presumably is used by something else that we don't have. Um, nothing that went by before seemed to use a mark. But that mark... There was a mark in Sal in the Sal campaign that we did on stream where it would force everybody in your party to attack a specific unit, but this doesn't appear to be that. So I'm guessing that you can then use mark to do something else. But it's not telling me what mark is. When you attack the target, gain one charge and reduce mark by one. Okay. It is telling me what mark is. I'm just not reading because stream brain late at night. Um, I think I'll take this. I'm liking overcharge. Overcharge is really good for us in that one. Overloaded core. Hit all enemies. Stun enemies with metallic piercing. Destroy after one use. That's really good. Uh, give me some shills. Don't hurt me, please. And we got some resolve back. That's the other thing. When you win a battle, you get resolve back. So your next um, negotiation, you're feeling better about yourself. I never wished to, you foolish oaf. As I was saying, I was simply looking for Calandra. I have a valuable opportunity for her, despite your best efforts to squander it. I know where she is. She keeps her agenda secret. But I know where you can find someone who can pass it along. That will do. Thank you kindly. I hope that you have better manners. When we next meet, leave. So we didn't get to write their name down because we fought them instead of talking to them. Uh, but let's let's keep following this. There we go. I knew there'd be one eventually. You recognise the colours of a member of the Rise boldly out and about on the main roads. You grift a stranger under contract, maybe? Express support for the Rise. Pretend you don't know about the Rise or express doubt about them. Well, express support. No need for the sales pitch, friend. I'm already a supporter of your cause. That's a relief. Can't count how many times I've asked that question only to get written up. Do you want some literature for a small fee, I mean? I, if I pay off my demerits, I can keep talking up shifts. By Rise Manifesto. It's a card. It's a negotiation card. It's an item card. Indoctrination. When destroyed, gain one dominance per stack. At the end of each turn, gain one influence... And reduce this argument by one. So when the when when the argument's destroyed, you gain dominance. Um and you can use it once. Opponent gains five indoctrination. When I destroyed their argument, I I assume that those things apply to me, because they seem to be beneficial to me, right? So if if I've indoctrinated them, I get dominance for destroying the thing. And I get influence while it exists. Because if I'm indoctrinated, then that would make sense. Um, so if I... If they dismiss the indoctrination, I can start shouting at them. And if they maintain the indoctrination, I get influence over them. And I can use it once. So eventually... Um, it'll go away and thin my deck out again, because I'll use it. That seems fair. Move it on. Oh, it did cost me 50 shills. Don't know if it was worth it, but you know... Anything for the rise. You find a ramshackle structure hidden in the bog right where you were expecting, thinking it best to put a bold foot forward. You barge in. Who the hesh is that? I'm looking for Calandra. Heard of her? Drop the act, granddad. I'm two seconds away from blasting you back to wherever you came from. Explain yourself now. I work with the spark barons, but I find them distasteful. I'm here to offer my services. You expect us to trust you? Of course not. That's why I come bearing gifts. You hand over the intel. Flexus's eyes grow wide when he reads it. I'm going to need some time to go over this. You do a job for us to prove you're not messing around. If you do that right and this intel checks out, maybe then you can talk to the boss. Asset liberation. Get a graph for it. Sure, let's take it. The workers here in Grout Bog outnumber the technocrats three to one. If manpower was all it took, this whole conflict would have been over before it started. The workers' rights, safety regulations. We'd have it all. Sounds like a fantasy. It is, so long as the spark barons keep a tight grip on all the latest and greatest tech. The threat of it is enough to give them power. If this revolution's revolution's going to have legs, we need supplies. One of our scouts had a lead, but she hasn't reported back, and I'm getting worried. I need you to check it out for me. Rescue the scout if you can. Secure the supplies no matter what. Okay. So. Definitely secure the spies, supplies. Maybe find the person. At two separate places? Did you notice the location of a shipment of weapons and medicine for the barn? Find her and find the shipment. 
buy factional items here when you're on the clock. Let's just get through this day. <laughs> it's been a long episode. I apologize, I didn't realize it would be this long, but I do like reading all the things. If I was more dismissive of that, then we'd be done by now. Where trouble goes, Idri follows, always on the lookout for opportunity. Out in the chill of the night, best cover your neck, and not for very catch of gold. Ask about the cash. You flash Idri the secret rise hand, shine, hand sign that Fleckfist taught you. You forgot to hook your thumb, but that's close enough. Fleckfist sent me, he says, you haven't checked in. Seeing as you're warm and cosy here, I expect he'll want a good explanation, not that I'm complaining. This is the easiest rescue mission I ever partook. Guess it depends how deep your pockets are. Thing is, uh, <laughs> I can't leave. Not until I pay off my tab. You haven't reported in because you're in debt to the barkeep. Hey, Freedom Thine's thirsty work. Fleckfist has a bar at the headquarters, why not drink it there? I like the swill here better. How much debt are we talking here? Don't know. More than I have, that's for sure. Honestly, I lost track. It's been... I've been busting tables between double shifts at the dig for four days. Well, what about the cash? Can you tell me where to find it? That way at least I can take it to Fleckfist. I could do that, but maybe I can't remember unless I'm actually going there myself, you know. Besides, if I don't pay off the rest of my debt soon, the market will just sell it to the Spark Barons. Then they'll put me on probation, watch my every move. Oh, some freedom fighter you are, holding yourself hostage and demanding a ransom. I fight for my own freedom first. Everyone else has come second. Get me out of debt, then I'll take it to the cash. Right. Uh, it's an intimidation attempt, so she will dislike me. This is an aggression, so she will dislike me. Um, what kind of rebel racks up that kind of bar tab? Uh, the double agent kind? Spark barons come here. They talk more if they're drunk, so I buy them drinks. You want their cash? You're going to have to help me pay for it. Um, Idri will like me if I give them money. I get my resolve back. But I get another one of these, one each of these. I like the idea of people liking me. You want the drinks for you both? Idri greedily accepts. Nothing like Havarian Swill. Game 10 resolve, Idri likes me. Getting cards, done that. Um, Idri will now be neutral. So I basically sold myself off. <laughs> uh, we just got 10 resolve back and Idri has none. So we'll do that. Come with the cash or you'll have more to worry about than bussing tables. Wait, are you threatening me? I thought we were friends. So, because it's an intimidation attempt, we get these cards. <clears throat> the end of your turn is set to intimidate and unplayable. We, the benefits, to an extent, but not really. Um, when destroyed, remove a random intent from Idri. So you can attack those via that. Um, we might as well do this. Ooh, that's expensive, but we can do it. You're not going to do anything, so that doesn't matter. Uh, draw a card. Cool. Uh, and then we'll call it. And that should... Gabe's resolve. Of course it does. I knew that. But it's on heads now, so when we get our heads cards, that'll be great. For the cause. Uh, gain an action. And win. Yeah. That was nothing. <laughs> They're now neutral to us again, but that's okay. Uh, I, I don't know if any of this is going to be any good for us. Red cards generally quite hard to play with because you need to have a, a good synergy to make it worth drawing them. Uh, gamble for each hostility draw card drawn. If you've got a lot of them, that would be good. Deal plus one damage for every argument you have. Guide a card gain. Dominance equal to its cost plus one. Like, I'm not using dominance, I'm using diplomacy. Which makes sense, this is a negotiation, but if you were more of a, a ruffian type character, then the red cards would be good for you. Uh, gamble twice, Sticky, or set the coin. That's awesome. We don't need to call it. Like We don't, we don't need to use it until we want to, because we've got several stacks of um, fixed heads, right? Deal max damage, gain an action, and draw a card to use that action. <clears throat> or max damage being six makes it really good because we're almost always going to have heads. So that's that's very much worth it, I think. Fleckfist may have asked me to rescue you, but he doesn't want he doesn't have to know you weren't dead when I found you. So what's it gonna be? The cash? Or I pay your debt and we go for a walk. Fine, Hesh, you're serious, aren't you? If she reaches into her pocket for a water paper someone might once have used as a napkin. The location of the cash is scrawled on it, plain to read, not even written in code. Now leave me alone, I have debts to pay. Hang on, this tells me where to find it, but what if it's guarded? Then you've got to use your wiles or whatever. I need to get 
my next shift before the truancy officer comes looking for me. Come with me. <clears throat> this is Rise Mazes, and you're Rise, you need to come with me. Tough. Right, so we, yeah. We've still only got two of these, so this has not duplicated this. Why are you wobbling? Because we had a drink. <laughs> We're both pissed and <laughs> just yelling at each other in the bar. Um, maybe worth it, but I like Blacklist. Let's do it. That Blacklist is getting so good now. I didn't realise there'd be that many people that we negotiate with. I guess it's because I've been picking negotiations on purpose. That would make some sense. Um, I will improvise a card. This isn't really worth it. So I won't play it. I'll keep it for later. I don't think we'll need it. But it's worth knowing that it's there. Um... I think we'll just skip this turn and get rid of that. Just all. Oh, uh, we know how to play drunken people because we've been playing my summer car on stream, and that is the drunken fin simulator. Simp simulator. Uh, we might as well play it. Two cards, okay. I mean, stop doing that, basically. <laughs> Now we've got extra influence, I understand. And it duplicated it, which is good, because um, now there's two targets. It's not one target that you can destroy quickly. I like that. Um, but we'll just... Oh, right. I needed... The... Never mind. Oh, come on. <laughs> you can't call it. Like, you can't pick it. That's right. This is a shame. But... It's over. Go away. Let's go. Oh, we get another negotiation card. Foulmouth, discard a card. That would be great if we had something that triggered on being discarded, but we don't. Um, no. Play two composed around a friendly argument every time you play a card. This is a prepared thing. This is what I was saying before. You can put an argument in your thingy and then for the rest of the negotiation, at least until that thing is destroyed, this happens to you. In this case, you get... Actually, that's really good. <laughs> I, I still think set the coin is important. We don't want to gamble twice because we just burn off two rigs. Remember that freedom fighting thing we talked about? Now's the time. <gasps> Fine, that's why you sound just like my ma. Before she, you know, got killed in the cave in. Huh. Probably won't happen to you. Anyway, we're going to what? Yes, we should leave quickly because it's getting late and this has been a very long episode. It's been the stream length episode. Let's get on with it. Might split these up in future. In fact, I might have already split this up if this goes on for too long. Uh, by the time it goes on YouTube. It provide, proves a worthy guide, keeping branches out of your face and leeches out of your boots. Eventually, she stops short, gesturing for silence. You do your best to comply as a bloodsucker buzzes angrily in your ear. We're getting close, just on the other side of this patch. You slowly lean forward, peering through the sharp branches. On the far side, you can make out barren uniforms, sparkling clean despite the muck. Careful. Charge him with a surprise attack. The drunken person. You have the first strike and a bonus action on the first turn. Rasmo will dislike you. Let's do a battle. We haven't done a battle for ages. You charge in, blade glinting like a firefly, even though we've got guns. No blades. I'm here. Rook's mine. Right, player advantage, plus one action. Well, hey, we might as well be this, right? Um. Oh, flip it out, really? Three. Three. I will take one damage to prevent you from taking... Oh, I didn't read that properly. I thought they were all the same. My mistake. It's okay. We'll, we'll survive. You're going to take some damage. Honestly, no. I'm protecting myself from all this damage. Screw you. 666. Six, six. The number of the beast. You're two bonus damage. I would like to overcharge. Stun enemy is metallic. Piercing. That was amazing. <laughs> that was worth using. Uh... Hunker down on you. 
and then just like do that. Because you lot can wait. It's fine. Oh! -ho -ho! I love the fact that you just got a bazooka. Did you bring that with you? Why do you have to be on my side? At least you might tank some damage. Yeah, you are. You're not taking any damage, but I'm taking a lot. Where from? You and you. I don't like using up all my uh, cards like this. I think this is worth it. It'd be nice if you could shoot that. But okay. I will take some damage then, I guess. Thanks for that. Dick. Wound two. Do not want. Right, so you're both attacking me. You've got five damage. What are you doing? Attacking that. Fine. You're gonna give me... Uh, the auto dog is doing eight, so the auto dog has to go. You've got five damage. You haven't got any overcharge, which is annoying. <laughs> Please. Come on. <laughs> and then... Fine, whatever. <laughs> You're already surrendering. Great. Thank you. I, I don't even know what happened now. I was just playing the cards that were dealt. Uh, spend three overcharge, this card costs zero. We need a better way of enabling overcharge because we didn't get any in that one because of the... We were, our hand was a little bit forced. Concentration. Halve increases minimum damage of all attacks by one. Well, that's good because we can swap that for one of the other defense cards, which is not doing that at all. Um, apply targeted replenish. This is the one I was talking about. All non-player characters will prioritize this target. So targeted and um, marked a different thing. So three resolve. We're nearly back to full. Baron breaks and runs for the trees. You check over the cash crate. Surprisingly, they're full of imported admiralty weapons. You don't want to be caught by spark barons with these in your pockets, but you can move them to a spot more agreeable to the next rise rebel who comes looking. Once you and Idri have covered your tracks, she lifts her hands, coupled with the first mound of dirt, to camouflage the boxes. Some plot binds her, and you can tell at a glance it's a juicy one. This looks like more weapons than the Rise has hands to wield in, wouldn't you say? Would I? I mean, Fleckfist doesn't know exactly what's in the cache. You would never know if we took some initiative. You'd risk getting caught with a weapon that's contraband. Wouldn't happen for long. Uh, not all of the workers are part of the resistance, and some of them got bad judgment. We sell them the weapons for, to use for their own reasons and pocket the change. Pesh, more likely than not, they'll distract the barons by making trouble of their own. If this is such a good idea, why not run it past Calandra? Calandra? Too messy for her tastes. She's out for blood as long as it's a baron, but she's too soft on the strike breakers and scabs, if you ask me. Yes. Let's do it. There's always time for profit, I find. Great. I'll just take a few arms and head off to find a bio. I'd have a couple of folks in mind. You keep Fleckfist off the scent and we'll meet up later to split the profits. Adri. Idri helps herself to the cash without another word and you head off to tell Fleckfist about the weapons, at least the ones that are left. Anyway. We've been here. You again. Free yourself, labourer. The bog is not something to be feared, but to be embraced. Oh, shut up, will you? Hey, Grifter, why don't you do something useful and send this lunatic past me? What's the problem? The problem is I'm just trying to get to work and this bog head won't stop following me around talking up his Oshnu Dung religion. It's not a religion, it's the truth. See what I mean? I don't even have time for Hesh. I don't even have time for Hesh. I'm sure, oh, Hesh, by the way, is like the de facto deity. I sure as hell it ain't gonna worship a patch of mud instead. Reet, what's going on? Why are you bothering me? I'm not bothering anyone, I'm saving them. Saving them from what? From a life encumbered with the burden of flesh. The bog offers consumption. Consumption offers transformation. Transformation offers... And this differs from Hesh. How? It's totally different. Bog is on land. If I convince you to listen to you, you'll dislike me if I make you go away, so... We might as well upgrade some of our cards, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking here. Um, composure on this. Definitely need that. Why is this the wrong way? And then... This one has more max. That's right. Don't like what you're doing here. <laughs> 
Don't like that at all. I guess, to be fair, since we've got all these decisive calls, um, if we lose our rigged heads, or two of them, you know, we... It doesn't matter, basically. In fact, we could probably get rid of that if we need to. So early on, not taking a negotiation graft slot doesn't matter because we don't need that rig anyway. Um, for two, that's free. We can set the coin, gain one influence, and spend that for free. Yeah. And we get rid of that forever. What's this? Gain one count when irritable. When the count reaches 10, Rook is out. Five resolve damage, and this argument is removed. So. We set the coin to heads, although it's already heads. We deal max damage to this. It doesn't matter what order we do this in. Then we get rid of this before it gets to 10 and spill over to that. Nice. We take a lot of damage to here, but we didn't have a choice. We don't have much that produces resolve. In fact, we should probably start thinning out our deck of the red cards, because I'm not really a fan of these. Take names. Always taking names, if I can. Uh, two composure to... Two compo I don't mind losing this, because both of ours are set anyway, but it's going to spill over. Um, and that's a problem. I don't really care too much. If we set this to... What's in our draw pile? Yeah, I think we're going to keep it where it is, actually. I like the fact that you can set this. Knowing that you can um, rig this quite easily. This is in your hand at the end of your turn. Add another earworm. Spend hatch parasite. So our other one turned into this one. <laughs> so you have to get rid of it. Um, or you could just like... What's this? Fine. <laughs> just give me a free win. That's fine. Uh, discard a card. Discard a card. Sticky. Not useful. I don't think that's useful. Now that we've got those um, upgraded flips. Those call it that you can just set the coin. We don't need any rigging of the coin in the first place. Um, that being cheaper is good, but also that being more <laughs> more. Fun. We have in managed. We have managed to enable this being prepared quite a lot actually. So I think making it have a higher maximum value is actually worth it. Yeah. Final lesson is probably more interesting than my job at least. So I told you about the fifteen sacred fluids yet. Leave the path to continue the theological discussion. Thank you for not making me and re liked us. I didn't expect that. Did I expect that? I don't think I expected that. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not paying that much attention. Oh, I'm trying to get through it a little bit quicker. An hour and 40. Tell Fletfist the cash is secure. Cash secured, Rebel Leader. You've got yourself a new supply of military grade weapons. A lot, I hope. Every, have, every weapon we have is a, one less we have to worry about. What about Idri? Did you find her? I did. Idri took some drying out. She came around. Because now I still have an asset in the field. You get paid 90 shills. Pick a graft reward. Nice. Vulnerability is twice as effective for and against you. At the start of this negotiation, insert a conductor card into your hand. Force all enemy intents and arguments to target a specific argument this turn. Start of this turn, we gain one overcharge. That's amazing. I will take that, thank you. Done. Now what? It's done, huh? Well, Calandra enters the room. Enough with the third degree. I want to meet the turncoat. Give us the room, everyone. I'll take it from here. Room empties when you're left... Alone with an eager Calandra who turns to you with a glint in her eye. I'm wondering if this whole thing is a single day and I'm just playing for two hours by accident. <laughs> nice to meet you face to face, Rook. I have to say one day in the bargain you've already made some progress. I have it on good authority that Felomo is very pleased to have finally gotten you on site. Felomo often gives mixed signals, but yes, he has me on payroll. Yes. Old friends and comrades, reunited by the threat of a labour union. I went to him first, as your letter proposed. Excellent cipher, by the way. Take naturally to this cloak and dagger stuff. Right, well, I would to pretend to trust you completely. I had you to spy, after all. Ah, yes. I'm to look for... What was it again? I'll come later. For now, just stay on Felomo's good side. Felomo thinks you're spying on me. We can't give him any indication it's the other way around. But what... 
trouble with the double agent is which side are you actually on, right? What I want you to check in, I want you to check in with me every day for what I'm paying you. You should make time for both, as you like. In a long day, it seems like tomorrow will be even longer. We have got to the end of the day, it seems. So, uh, limited time between. Quacky is looking to hire a guide for an expedition into the bog. Ties revealed a path to a peaceful clearing in the bog, so we could get some. That restores resolve. That's what that icon means. Uh, this one, I don't know. Another bloody Idri approaches. Hey, Rook, good news. The actual weapons pretty much sold themselves. Your share comes out to 50 shills. Idri, I'll lose... I will lose what's name with Idri, so I'm just going to keep it. That's the money that I spent in the first place. <laughs> but we're going to give this money to the Rise. My money does go to the Rise. you got to eat, don't you? Remember, in the war in, in, in the war on injustice, you're a resource too. See you around, Rook. Return to her probably to find some new warding hole. Skim some profit off the top together. Nice. Receive a free RPG once a day from a member of the Rise. That is awesome. <laughs> it was using the RPG, if you recall. And Lone Jake pouring over a crudely drawn map. You there? Are you looking for an opportunity? You there? Are you looking for the opportunity of a lifetime? Always. What are you offering? The bog. It holds riches, I'm sure of it. My limited experience. The bog holds mostly dangerous slime and a quick death, but also riches. My research proves it. I just need the bit of protection to help me avoid the quick death part. You follow me as I follow this map, and I'll share the spoils. Are you in? Yes. But it's better pay off. Great. You might have to kill a urchin or ten, but other than that, this will be the easiest money I've ever earned. Follow Quacky into the bog. Guns at the ready. Quacky leads you through the bog. The terrain gets rougher the farther you get from the road, and you eventually come to a rocky outcrop. Your heart fills with dread, but your boots fill with bog water. Gain negotiation card spooked when drawn. Discard a random card. <laughs> Wait, did you hear that? What is it? It's nothing. Let's keep going. Keep going. You follow, surrounded by bog on all sides. I'm guessing each one of these has got a chance or would certainly, either way, uh, give you another debuff in your thing. You press on, the bog presses in. Your nose experiences thing that language cannot yet describe. I hear it again. Are you sure it's not? You're set upon by the local fauna. Defend yourself. We can do this, Quacky. So we start with one overcharge, which is Sawson. Uh, I don't need two defense, but I... Uh, what have you got? 14? I'll just kick you really hard. What happened there? <laughs> Excuse me. Let's have a look at your actual thing, shall we? A new urchin will take its place. Okay. Now what are you doing? We just have to kill it? Is that the only thing we can do? So like, double your overcharge. Yes, please. I think you just have to outright kill it, because if it runs away, you get another one. Pick a battle card. Apply to Ricochet. Whenever the target takes damage from an attack, deal that much damage to a random enemy target and reduce Ricochet. That's really good. Target has burn, gain two charge. Didn't take the burn synergy. Spend all charge, attack once for each charge. <coughs> considering that, I'm also considering this, but this only does two. Yeah, we can, we can dump all our charge at once. Urchin Musk, reduce resolve loss for one turn. Okay, I'd rather not though, <laughs> whatever. Wow, what a hairball. There's nothing in my notes about that. Time to carry on. You follow Quacky. And a strange structure. We found it. The heart of the bog. Where's the money part of it? It requires sacrifice first. Quickly, lay down on that platform. I'll plunge my knife through your heart and then your spirit will join the bog and unlock its secrets. <laughs> Excuse me. Don't worry, it won't hurt and you'll be reborn in the spirit of the bog. Um, I can get... So... You can get away with murder. If you murder somebody, you will get a reputation for being a murderer. But if you do it somewhere out of the way, no one will know about it. If I fight, I have to kill them. This one, maybe I just send them away. I think we need to upgrade our, our battle deck. I'm really hoping that we end this day soon because, crikey, it's been nearly two hours. Um, start off here. The concentration allows us to uh, do more minimum damage, which is cool. 
Don't need that. So we probably spend this. Yeah, that seems fine. Taking a lot of damage. <laughs> um, I do need some defense. I'd like to kick you. Let's take half the damage and then kick you. The kicks turned out to be really good. Wouldn't mind some uh, more, you know, <laughs> actions. One overcharge at the start of each turn, actually. That's really good. This is a great time to give me the thing where I... Okay. Two defense is fine. Okay, fine. That's really good. Attack once for each charge. That's a lot more than ten. Happy? <laughs> and then one more. Do as you will. Which was nothing. Uh, literally anything will do here. You lunatic. I'm out of here. Pick a battle card. Spend one charge, deal three bonus damage. Then <sighs> three overcharge is free. Two defense per target could be really good. Yeah, I like that. We can start thinning out our defense cards now. Gaff. Prevents damage... Sorry. Gain defense equal to the damage dealt. Destroy after three uses. I mean, I think we have to take it. Resource and resolve. Quacky is dead. You remember through his notes before leaving. Deep bog secret. So when we when these show up, um, we will eventually learn the secrets as we open up the... Right, let's get this day over with. Frickin' frick. We know that there's going to be multiple days because we have benefits that happen each day. You arrive at the dead drop. It's much like the others around Haveria. Empty but full of anticipation. You jot down a few notes about the rise and the spark barons and shove the wax envelope into the sealed canister. If you're any less experienced, you wouldn't notice a sudden silence as someone approaches behind you. You're well out of the shallows, Hessian. If you're looking for the cult secrets, I'm retired. I don't trade in those anymore. No? Secrets are the only thing the heretics here accept as currency. Is that why you followed me here? It has nothing to do with you, Eonwe. Oni? <laughs> Remember the old times, hmm? Our memories are all masters. Our memories are all our masters let us keep for ourselves. You say the words, but you know Yonwe too well to hold any real hope that she'd neglect her duty. Intimidate or defend yourself? I have to fight. I have to win. Or... I have a feeling that... So this happens sometimes. You can... Do the negotiation first, which will make it easier to win the battle. But you have to win the battle. There was a time when we could find common ground, even in the darkest days. So what's this? When destroyed gives Yongwei one impatience, Yongwei will obtain defect when you enter battle. Which is double damage. We have to destroy that to make the battle easier. We have to destroy this to win at all. Um... Let's see what we start with. We've got full damage. Well, we've got four damage. We've got... Not a prepared one. We, If we use that, we gain an action when we play that. Remove composure from an enemy argument, which we don't need to do. Prepare a card. When this card is prepared, it's free. And then we can... Right, so that's one. That's free. Two. Sorry. We, we'd have to spend that to make that three but that's two let's see so if you spend these in that order it will work out for the best so now we've got two again uh, this is even better i didn't realize that was there so these are going to keep coming back i think what <laughs> um let's use that and then not use it now Unfortunately, we are taking some damage, but that's okay. Our battle will probably restore some of our resolve anyway. Um, prepared. If we get rid of this, then we'll get random composure as we play everything else. I, I mistook that for being one of the things that you play at the start and you get an argument. That's There's another word for that, but I, I've not got used to this prepared idea yet, so I apologise for getting that wrong so much. Um, here we go. Take that. Gain one influence, and re so we're going to get influence from that, unless it gets destroyed. 
Um, we wouldn't mind some of that, so let's do that. We should have done that first, so that the rest of these count as um, towards that. We can't prepare this, unfortunately. Uh, let's get rid of this. And then this. Hooray! So these are going to keep coming back. But you're going to get more impatient as I do it. So the more I make you defect at the start of the thingy, the more impatient you get in this. So it's a trade-off between how difficult I want the negotiation to be and how easy I want the next thing to be. Hello. Oh god. <laughs> Doesn't like that at all. Just, just take this down now. This is going to be a problem for us if we're not careful. Um, we're going to take a lot of damage here. I think I would just rather protect this for now. Uh, we'll set this to heads. Because <clears throat> we need to. Oh, we haven't got any actions left. Never mind. Earworm's back. Never mind. Never mind. This is going to be a problem. <laughs> At least they're going to attack them, right? Yeah. Rubbish. Well, we'll set it. When that's destroyed, we get three damage to that, right? So, oh, it might... Oh, it's going to... I'll just tank the damage and get rid of that. I'm sick. I don't want that to be around anymore. We're going to lose the argument. Christ, those are difficult to deal with. <laughs> Please. Anything that does damage, for goodness sake. I don't think we're going to win this argument. We have to win for these to work. I think. That's what's done. It's all our resolve. That's the first argument we've lost today. Just because I happen to be in Spark Baron? If anything you do, just by chance. Right, defend myself. We might lose this. <laughs> Ow! Right. Defense. You're not doing any damage to me, so I'm not going to bother with that. I will use this for sure. Should have used that first, that's okay. Draw a card. Hmm, let's put that in. We won't use it now. Evasion. Dodge next hit, so we'll do something cheap. Which is nothing. <laughs> Does this count? No. We're going to have to do something. We've got a lot of overcharge now. Do you know what? Neither. Screw it. You're not doing very much damage yet. I'm wondering if that's going to go up. And the young one, because you just have gained two charge. That's really good. You're not dodging anything, so we'll just... um. Because overcharge still survives. Which is great. I'm going to kick you really hard. <laughs> In your turn, take two damage per charge. At the end of your turn, remove one. We've actually gained some charge. We're going to do some damage. Take some damage now. Uh, I'll ignore those for now. Not great, but it is some defense. Not a lot more we can do, unfortunately. Now you're causing my charge to be a problem. <laughs> I understand. I do like that card. Spend all charge, yes. Take no damage. Brilliant. I mean, she died. I was kind of hoping to get the opportunity to not kill her. <laughs> but that's okay. No one knows. Apply one bum per concentration. 
Not really. Deal bonus damage equal to the cost of the most expensive card in your hand, which is basically two. Whenever you spend overcharge, draw a card. Ability, that's what I meant. So when you play this, that's going to be yours for the rest of the battle. Negotiation card. When this is in your hand, apply to a random argument. Maybe you prepare a card. Not really. That's the one we've already got. Gain one damage every time you gamble. Wherever this card is. I don't understand. Oh, it doesn't matter if it's in your hand or not. Damage is reset when played. Okay. That seems like a good thing. Plus it's a diplomacy card, which might matter. It does matter in some decks. Lumen by itself. I should probably start playing some of these. When this card is drawn, gain one evasion. Unplayable burnout. If this card's in your hand at the end of your turn, expend it. So as soon as you get that, you gain an evasion and can't draw it again. We've got 12 resolve back though. If one shadow track down, there may well be others. Can we end this bloody day? <laughs> yes. Finally! This has been nearly two hours long, so I apologise for that. I hope you watched all of it. You come across a small cavern partly submerged in the bog. Inside of the remains of an unfortunate traveller with a small box of assorted items. The entrance is swarming with nice looking insects that look ready to attack anything that comes near them. <gasps> Take the loot! You push through the swarm as quickly as you can, shielding your face as best as you can. The bugs don't seem to bite you. Once past the bugs, you grab as much as you can and rush out. Huh, not a single bite. Looking down your arms, you grow in patch of red skin and feeling spreading numbness. Ah. <laughs> Overloaded spark hammer. When this card reaches full XP, it's destroyed and triggers a special event. Numbness. 25% less damage. So, <clears throat> we've got a lot of things we have to spend two to get rid of, but hopefully we'll have some battles where we have other people helping us so that it's not such a big deal. Um, yeah, it's been a long episode. I apologise for that. Next time I'm going to I'm gonna research to see if you can stop halfway through, or if not, I'm just going to say thanks for watching and then come back. But two hours for me is as long as it is for you. So... I hope that you've watched all the way through this, and I do appreciate you doing so. Um, but until next time, thank you for watching. I will make a full series out of this. We'll do this whole thing through until we die or win. Um, and until next time, I hope that <laughs> you believe me that the next one will be a little bit shorter. But, you know, call it a special episode for the first of a series. Uh, until next time, presuming there's nothing else to do here, uh, I will see you. Oh, uh, after this. <laughs> I'll show you what we get. We've got all these. People dislike me. No one hates us. New Goon. I'm pretty sure this is all we learn. Yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Oh, we got that as well.